Well, in the in BC, in a 12, uh, 12 month period, you have, uh, say, January to about mid March or the end of March, which is uh, rain. You get sun. It's not actually a warm sun. You may get uh, three or four days, but mainly rain, a lot of fog, very little snow. Then you have a period, say, from April right through to October, which is, uh, I would say, summer more. We don't actually get a spring. It breaks right from winter to, to summer. And when you first get into the rain, like I say, four or five months straight or four months straight rain, it sort of gets to you. I think you're just like a, anything else, you get acclimatized to it. I know when I first start uh, getting the rain, I start carrying an umbrella. You still see a lot of people carrying an umbrella, but I don't bother anymore now because it's, uh, you get used to it. And another thing, it's uh, anyone who uh, suffers from sinuses, it's, 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 uh, this isn't too good. Your barometer is going up and down, and, and uh, if it rained 365 days a year out here, nobody would have sinus. But the thing is, your barometer is going up and down, this is actually what gets to your sinuses, I know. We have characters in this island. We know we have different groups, maybe four or five different groups. And uh, as I say, no two people are the same. I don't know, to, to ride back and forth on a ferry every day, you get to know them all. You know, you get to know all the people. Uh, the majority, they're, they're fairly good. Of course, this thing has sprung up in the last three years. I used to go uh, see her, and she was cooking over at the Quincy Motel. And I'd bring a box of chocolates and a bottle of rum. We'd get a room. She was a, a wonderful girl. Thank you. 
fact of focus, you know, is, or a hole in the universe, and actually it was originally a sun collector. And all summer the sun's collected, and in the winter you can look back at it and it hands you the sun back. Then I have a friend who's in the South Seas who tries to focus on it. And at that moment he focuses, then he's here with us. So it's a self-portrait, of course. Being exactly as high as I am. You fled the city because you felt yourself overwhelmed by the crassness, you know, the whole scene, you know. You wanted to preserve whatever vision you had of your identity and its and its place, you know. But replacing all that stuff you have, the stimulation in the city, replacing with natural stimulation, you know, it's just it's the same neurotic kind of uh, network. Everything framing out, you know? Well, I'm looking for a set of rules. Oh. Yeah, we, we don't feel no economic situation at the water out there. So I'm very poor, like I fish is it people here, life, I think. Busy uh, with feel really rich. The baby, especially, right? Try to find something. And you can see, it's incredible that she's young and she rich. Useful in the community. Well, why do people have to put up with bullshit? That requires a lot of care. That's why care and, uh, Something that they can do that's around this piece. It's a question, you know. Empty. Diaper. It's just, uh, empty will pay for it. You know, uh, uh, a fact of nature. But, uh, you really don't have to if, you, if you're willing to uh, take a chance and spend a little, a little more time and... That was our dream, to build a log cabin in the woods. Try to figure out what's really going on.
but it, I think it's better in a way because you're dealing with all natural, you know, like you watch the same tree for five years, doing the same thing, you know. Remember last year what it looked like in the year before, you know. But you got any fruit on it, you know. People had lived on the land, and they were both really old. I wanted to move to town, take advantage of medical services, I suppose. So I've lived here for about five years. I really like it because it's quiet. There was nothing. It was a forest, and then it was logged. It was logged about 1910 or so. The really huge logs, and then a second growth, and it was logged about 15 years ago. These people just lived here. Had a bunch of sons, and they worked at logging, a bunch of junk equipment. And so at that point, all of where the line is back there is where they stop. There's alders back in there. There's a lot of small small uh, trees. They were never very big when they cut them down. And thinking back on when we bought it, it wasn't really very too much money, but of course we bought it with old dollars, you see, which are much more cheap than uh, new dollars. So that's about the only thing that it gives you to own land, is not to be told to get off it. I don't know. It seems strange, but if you can burn your own junk after five years, I noticed a bunch of stuff that I did here that I'm burning. It shows a continuity in life, and it's important watching the same trees all the time. Change the same way, or get bigger, or get old and die. Whereas the concrete never changes never sprouts a new branch or grows a new curb. So unless the city plants some trees, you got nothing to look at. But your neighbor's automobile, which although they change, don't grow. Yeah, the changes would be nice. 